This year, the iconic Porsche 917 sports car is 50 years old, and Goodwood will be celebrating with a parade of five of these very special racing cars. More sports legends, Vic Alford and Richard Atwood, were there right at the very beginning. I was the first one in 1969. It was basically quite a very undeveloped car. They had done a lot of their uh, test driving on an airfield. I've heard all these stories years after, and an airfield's no longer than about two and a half miles, and they've got to stop, turn around, and go back. They were getting up to the ultimate speeds that we were, the Mauls are straight. The faster it went, the worse it got, because it was getting more and more unstable. For me, it was a real nightmare, but Vic, being a rally driver, sort of was able to uh, cope with that much better than I was. But uh, to me, it was a kink at the end of the straight. And with, normally with any car, you can go flat around there. This car was definitely not flat. And it was very, very tricky to, to drive. I loved it. <laughs> There's something wrong with him up here. <laughs> Simply because it was so fast. One of the things I always thought of Le Mans was that the last place in the world I wanted to race was Le Mans. Drive, yeah, not race. And the great thing about the 917, it was, even that first one, it was a nasty car to drive. I still loved it because it was, it was about 25 miles an hour quicker than anything else on the track. For Le Mans, it was perfect. You know, if I wanted to overtake somebody, I just waited until we got around the next corner and drove by it. And because it was such a handful to drive, Rolf Stomlin and I, we were probably the only two who actually wanted to drive it. Rolf went out in, uh, uh, early on in, in practice, actually, showed the organizers that it was really a nasty car and it frightened all the other competitors. So one of the great advantages for us was that uh, as we would come through, uh, especially on the long straight, you know, we didn't have Mickey Mouse chicanes then, we just had a four mile straight. And as we would come through Teatro Rouge corner onto the straight, everybody else was so frightened of the car that we could see all the way down the straight. Everybody, when they saw a 917 coming, would simply queue off on the right and wait until we'd driven by it. So it was a perfect car for driving at Le Mans. 